While we're writing, I might as well give you some exposition. The fellas and fillies you're trying to out-booze, the monarchs, they were originally angels of the highest order, seraphim. They'd fly around God's throne all day, telling him how great he is, and, and sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles, but anyways. One day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am, and decided they deserve some sort of, uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation. And the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh, with a, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because the hamburger would get eaten fast. Did that, does that read? God sounds like kind of a jerk, if I can say that here. Hey, you can say whatever the heck fire you want about God now. It's one of the benefits of already being damned. But don't judge him too harshly. People will kill the world before they give up air conditioning. And you think he's gonna share creation? No way. Hey, so what's over? Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. That was written by the Earl of Southampton's mistress. Any of you heard of it? This ain't a game show, so it's not like you'll lose money. Uh, it's from Love's Labor Lost. I know that. Well, firstly, you don't know it, since it's Love's Labor is Lost. And second, you know it because you were in the stupid thing. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, and the girl you were in it for ended up dating your understudy. Oh, yeah, she did. I only bring up this uh, personality calcifying event because Asmodeus is going through some similar stuff. So you shouldn't really mention anything like, like love or relationships. Or like, uh, doing it. Or having hope for your uh, future sexual lives. Anything like that. Maybe, uh, maybe we can, we can help it. You cannot help anyone down here, all right? I repeat, you cannot help anyone. Just out drink the son of the bitch and help yourselves. Just like Sally Mitchell helped herself to your understudy's mouth. Okay, now, now We look. got it. Avoid touchy-feely, stick to the party hardy. Hey, party shardy works too. You're wearing the right underwear. Alrighty, welcome to Thrall City. It's like if 14th century Europe invented a skyscraper. How could a continent invent anything? How'd Australia invent killer birds that kick you to death, Lola? A, a lot of evolution and luck, okay? Now, look, just when you find Asmodeus, don't, don't harsh the vibe. He's real big on having a good time. The cassowary, that, that's what you were talking about. Uh, did you hear her, Lola? <laughs> don't harsh the vibe. Oh, give me a... The Gulag Archipelago is an important book, all right? And I didn't know that Tim was on shrooms that time. Why do you even have that as an audiobook? Cause I jog, okay? It's called multitasking. Bye. That's so funny. I totally forgot I was in that play. Sally Mitchell, she played uh, Rosalind. I don't think I said one word to her outside of the script. Ugh, it's, a, it's annoying remembering how how bad I was at it, dating or, or anything social. Not that I, not that I would be much better down here. Yeah, hey, come on, Milo, you weren't that bad. You got dates sometimes, right? Rarely. They usually end with one of us very sincerely apologizing. Yeah, I guess that'll always be a mystery. What it's like to grow old with someone. Your grace needs not fear it. That's the only line from the play I remember. So we have actually different options here. We can go up here or we can go up here. Mm. Let me quickly check where we need to go exactly. Oh, there are pictures? I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, well, we are here. Well, according to the map, we we'll maybe have to go to the right, right? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Let's just explore. 
I guess Feisty's is a chain. Wanna head in? Huh, looks like it's closed. Oh, you're right. It looks like that one permanently shuttered dimples near our housing where that weird cat lives in. <laughs> the Petri dish. Cool name, actually. Want to get a tattoo? I thought you wanted, like, uh, an aardvark design or something. Yeah, maybe if we get home, I'll want to commemorate my love. But... Hey, this looks like a cool bar. This. <laughs> and so I told Frank, I said, Listen, I don't care about the metrics. Just tell me what we should be doing better. He's so whipped by marketing. Milo, are, are you okay? Oh, um, Beth, honey, I, I think he just stepped on somebody. Oh, sorry, kid. I didn't see you down there. It's... I'm good. I once had my foot run over by a paper boy, so that, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. You're new, right? Are you on Baker yet? Yes, for Satan's sake. You're not at a convention. <laughs> what? Conversion and retention, man. It'll get Beelzebub off my ass. Sorry, I'm Beth. Short for Behemoth. I'm Director of Operations for Baker. You just love to say the full title, don't you? <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Baker's been kind of helpful for us, actually. I wasn't on any social media while I was alive, but that's only because on Earth it gives you soul cancer. Yeah, we're still rolling out our feature set, so Earth's a little ahead of us. Sorry, Beth, but they're not going to hold our table forever. They will for me, but all right, see you guys around. Get on Bicker and direct yell at me. I'll promote your sins, okay? Have a good night, kids. Okay, and we can go inside actually. And again, uh, like I was too fast and the dialogues got cut off. I'll try to slow down. So we'll hear all the dialogues. Can we go, go inside? I don't think we can. Uh, pardon, pardon me, uh, but we would like to get into the... This bar? Yeah, fat chance. The cellar is an exclusive lounge and haven for serious reprobates only. You gotta score less than 20% on your shame and scruples. If you have even a hint of compunction or moral fortitude in you. Okay, well, how do you know I'm not like that? I mean, I mean, one time I was playing my little cousin in a, in a racing game, and I didn't show him how to break until it was almost time for his parents to pick him up. Leave. Well, then we go somewhere else. Okay, there's nothing interesting here. Good to know. Uh, let's just go upstairs then. He might be in here. I mean, it looks crazy. Skull. Sounds promising, eh? Okay, okay, I know I was making out with that demon, I know, but that's what pirates do. We get booty, right? Am I, am I right? Give me a fucking break, Eddie. I'm getting a cab. Annie, we, why'd we come here if not, huh? We never said we were exclusive. Oh, okay, I get it now. That blood oath for Captain Bart's treasure wasn't enough. Dying to those sharks when we got lost wasn't enough. Edward needed to have the talk. Okay. Those 
Those were business opportunities. It's not like we were married sailing the seven seas. The Gulf of fucking Mexico isn't a sea, Eddie. There's four oceans. We learned this like a thousand years ago. Oh, Annie, baby, come Just on. Just shut up. We'll talk about it when we get home. And there's nothing here. Okay, glad I did that. Well, let's try to go inside of a club, I guess. If it's club. Nice. Oh, so you're gonna tell me you weren't dancing with him, huh? That guy was all over you. Okay, that guy didn't even have a head, so he, like, barely counts, biologically speaking. This place looks like a real meat market, but, uh, the meat is what? spelled. I can't hear you over the music. Yeah, but this place is a real meat market, though, right? If, if meat was spelled... Let's just find Asmodeus. Maybe he's on the dance floor. Yeah, it's spelled like the, like the food. Should we get yeah, a drink? I hate places like this. I don't know what it is, but it's just like this. I work three hours today, so I deserve to get coked up and dance while Chinese laborers make my new smartphone. Like, why don't you take that time and give something back? The world's crumbling to dust, and you just want to freak on some guy? Eh, you know, I can see the appeal of just forgetting your troubles. Like, cruises, you know? I've always wanted to take a cruise somewhere. Massages, and then while I'm getting a massage, get a massage for my masseuse. Like, surprise him, and then, then like, become really good friends. Yeah, I've heard your buy a masseuse friend plan before. Two reparias for two lovebirds. Oh, we're not lovers. I treat her more like a mannequin I built to demean. And he looks like my dad, so I get to work out my more wholesome fantasies. Sounds good, kids. Have fun. Hey, kids, what'll it be? Well, actually, the first one looks interesting, but um, I guess we'll take that. Do you have a, uh, a Bluebeard's last wife? Try not to drink and dance. It's a pain to clean up the floor. Okay. We can actually go up. Um, hmm. Well, I think we should go down first. VIP section. You'll notice by the fact you can't enter. Can't we just pop in for a minute? Every second you sit there would depreciate the seat's value. Well, that's... it's hard to argue with, really. Okay. Whoa, hey! Asmodeus, seriously, I'll take whatever uppers you got. <laughs> Baleo! We know you have a stash of Pujari teeth, Al. You... well, you designed the lava pit the cartel burns in! Now, you've been having a rough time of it recently. We know, but... <laughs> I'm on leave. So it's not my job anymore. Look up staycation. That's that's what it... You'll see a picture of it. This is it. Hey, that's the big guy. The monarch, Asmodeus. Let's follow him. Make, uh, make friends with him, not them. On leave? What are you, fucking Swedish? I need drugs! My husband doesn't know he can't fix the toaster. And I need to get high enough to pretend he can't. Get a divorce then. Or a drink. That's where I'm going. Well, the track makes a great term gate shape. You should have one. Hey, y'all, we're here at Club Skull, and we're going to make sure to keep it bumping all night. I said all night long. Hey. 
And be... remember, the dance contest is ongoing, so sign up with me, Murmur, right here I'll at have the a, DJ booth. A, a lookout behind you? Sound advice. I'm not allowed to leave. I don't even have legs, really. So feel free to come by anytime. Hey, Uncle Al, how's the vacation been? Great, great. I've been, you know, I hate the phrase, taking a little me time. But I guess it's better than saying I've been just dicking around, missing the life I used to have. Cool, cool. What do you want to drink? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, know how to make a Marburg sour? Don't have the blood samples. Sure, sure. Huh? Let's see. Hey, Asmodeus. Great club, right? Love the, uh, the ambiance, the theme. I can't really, I can't really tell what it is, but... Yeah, we're really big on party themes. Last year's Christmas light budget was around the cost of operations for the city of Toronto. Well, I'm sure Jesus appreciated it. I mean, he'd appreciate anything. That guy chased a laser pointer around for days if you had the battery. Hey, Uncle Al, the alligator, the ass wagon. You got like 10 hours? I'm taking a bath on a timeshare. I need to vent at someone taller than me. Uh, maybe. Just don't get too pissed if I stop you after 10 minutes. Actually, why didn't I see you at salsa dancing last Wednesday? Yeah, 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 you're a loser, we got it. Just sit down and shut up. We'll get you loaded, okay? Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. Sorry to bother you, uh, Al, but first off, I'm Lola, he's Milo, and we're doing the whole challenge Satan to a drinking contest to escape hell thing, and we really yeah, need- Yeah, 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 you can stop right there. Cause you don't really need anything now, do you? Because you're in hell, which means you're dead. And you're kind of a fast talker, and fast talkers spread anxiety like termites. So do me a favor and slow boat it a bit. Yeah, get out of the fucking carpool lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just hang out, put your feet up. There's no dress code, so don't worry about it. Al, this is serious. We need to get out before the processing station makes us eat live gerbils every day. Hey. I mean, a wise man once told me eating gerbils is only bad if you don't like it. True, but... Yeah, Morningstar already texted me, Squirt. I know you want my seal for the contest. Oh. Father Trek, two shots of permanent vacation. You want to you wanna have a drink off right now? Because I was kind of hoping you'd just make us, like, clean your gutters or something. Fractiopanus. We're breaking bread, Lola. Come on, do a shot with me. Let's get to know each other a little. Get those wrinkles off your face. We don't need therapy, Mr. Asmodeus. We just need you to stamp our permission slips. Uh, I disagree. Let's agree to disagree. I really insist. And I sincerely desist. And just to be clear, she does the shots, and then we get the seal? <laughs> I'm not one of those bargaining demons, guys. I'm just here to have a good time. Hey, it's okay. It's fine. Skull is a no-pressure environment. If you don't want to play shuffleboard, they'll just use the head somewhere else, you know? Hey, Al, some folks wanted to know if you can make the death day announcements. Yeah, I'll be the mall Easter Bunny. Hey, kids, why don't you two tag along? Won't take long. Not that many people here died this month. How about instead you just give us your seal now? Save my shoes some tread. Come on, you'll get the tour first. Sure, whatever. Let's go. You're trying to outdrink Satan, right? Well, you can dream a dream in time gone by. That shit ain't happening. Why not? Because trying to outdrink a guy going through a breakup is harder than waking up happy. Satan's going through a breakup? With God? Yeah. But also with the lie that life means anything. That shit happened like a hundred millennia ago. And it's still in his head. Those two had a codependent relationship like you've never seen. That's just what a, what a demon would say. Hey, kid. I'm no demon. I'm an angel burned into nature by the kiln of the first epoch. I just bet on the wrong horse, if you catch my meaning. I was Lucifer looking these days anyway. You still up on Welkin Way? Oh yeah, big place. Makes Xanadu look like a bouncy castle. Uh, all of us. The original monarchs. We all used to live up there. I don't know if you know, Satan and me, yeah, we're still buddies. But the others, eh, yeah, even Bed Bath & Beyond coupons don't. Don't let anyone tell you that they don't. I don't mean to pry, but what happened? How many death days tonight? Just a few. Don't do the carbon monoxide poisoning. He's not quite over it yet. Okay, uh, Al, can we just get your signature on this? Uh... And you know another thing about Satan? He really, he was my life raft when my wife Beth left me. 
He took me out, wouldn't let me get too down. It was a huge help. And I'll always think kindly of the guy for that, you know? Oh, shit. Why'd you leave? If you don't mind me pressing into your personal life with reckless abandon. Oh, some ill-advised focus on her career. What's a career ever done for anyone? Except Genghis Khan. Ugh, we're getting nowhere. Asmodeus, if you could just... Hey, party demons! We have a very special death day tonight. Rod Boulderat. Eaten by a dinosaur 30 million years ago! And yes, people, dinosaurs did exist with humans. Don't believe everything scientists tell you. Asmodeus, uh, about, about that seal? Yeah, my witch doctor slash therapist thinks I'm just burying my pain at Beth leaving by partying all the time. That I'm just perpetuating an endless cycle of self-destruction, ignoring my real trauma. But she still wears Robinson's mate. So what does she know? Let's have a drink, Milo. Come on. For Grog, Lola refused the hotel hell. But Milo, come on. It's my own personal cocktail. The unapologetic. Good for what ails you. Um, maybe? Don't be an idiot, Milo. That drink could make your hands fall off. You have no idea. Yeah, look around. No one's melting into the floor. Everyone looks like they're having a good time, right? Our lost boy's gonna do it. That's what I like to see. Bottoms up. Milo, are you, uh, okay? What the fuck shit happened? What a strange occurrence. Milo and Lola meet Milo's conscience. Milo's conscience? Meet Milo and Lola. Charmed. Yeah. This ugly fucking loser is my conscience. Well, get it back in. How will he know to tip 15%? Or that it's not acceptable to slap mailmen? Read the room, Lola. This is a good thing. A conscience. It's just what happens to your ego if it watches too many kids shows with puppets. It's, it's radiation growing tumors. We've just made Milo healthy again. Without restraint or fear or societal hangups. Like putting the seat down just cause your wife can't find the light switch at night. What is happy? Get a drink and find out, you little scam. How can one be happy if others suffer? Instinct pursues procreation, which yet brings more suffering. Hey, Sailor. You look like you blew in on a stiff breeze. Wanna buy me a drink? I listened to some guy pitch me a timeshare and got his VIP seats. As long as you are, are comfortable with the proffer, I, I think I would very much enjoy that, yes. Wait, this little fucking nerd gets picked up like that? I've tried standing around before, it doesn't work. Hey, Milo, look at that little guy go. I guess without all your deep-seated self-loathing, you'd be more successful, romantically speaking. Oh, give me a break. Once he opens up to her about his owl fetish, her legs will close up real quick. All right, kiddos, there's a dance competition that needs tending to downstairs. Wait, what? What about us having a drinking contest for the seal? Hey, I'm a busy party demon. You're fortunate to have stolen five minutes of party time. But look, I'll tell you what. How about instead, you enter the dance hall? If you win, I'll give you my seal. It's more fun than drinking. That's what Satan doesn't know. Dancing doesn't scare away your friends. I guess unless it was really scary dancing, but still, even then. Yeah, right, like I'm just gonna buy that you're gonna give us your approval if we won a dance contest after that rent. Well, this guy's just stringing us along, using us as temporary friends. So he doesn't have to wallow in the sadness of divorced, middle-aged, single loser life. Hey, you say tomato, I say... Well, actually, I say tomato, too. Nobody really says tomato. Fuck. We need to get his wife Beth here. It's obvious he's covering old wounds. He's like me after Pilates. If we can, if we can get them back together, he'll surely give us the... <laughs> fuck that and fuck him and fuck her and fuck you, Lola. If you think I'm gonna help some fat demon get laid tonight, let's just beat his ass in the dancing competition. Make him surrender the damn seal with our fucking puma legs. What the hell are you talking about? I don't wanna help others. I had the hardest time getting girls on Earth. No, Milo, we're doing the wife thing. She, se she seems nice and clean for a demon. 
and I have faith that this will work out better than trying to outdance a creature that does nothing but party. Ah, uh, fine, you stupid, stupid baby. That's, that's just great. Whatever Mama Lola wants to do, I guess. Be the damn way. Thank you. Let's go to the significant cellar then. God, Lola, you should get a shot of this. Seriously, it's... It'll really melt all your stupid insecurities into the fucking toilet. I'm not doing it. One of us needs to worry about the stains on their pants. No oh, stains. You're talking about trying to... Humans are bungled and botched hordes, Lola. I'm really seeing that now. The trivial majority that plague superior men with... Like that chick in that play. Why did I want to date that girl? It's a... It's a slave morality, right? You can get everything you want from life out of prostitutes and talk to the TV when there's characters on it you like. Ah, uh, yeah, yep, that's, uh, you're really hitting all the nails on the head here. I'm just saying you're half yourself when you're with somebody. It's just, that's just math. You know, that left Asmodeus, the freaking loser, for her job. And that's what you gotta do. Make something other than dumb memories or idiot children. Marriage with kids is just future alimony and burning a 70-year-old's life's worth of natural resources. It's downright immoral. Abstinence and selfishness. That, that leads to success. Milo, I might agree with this pessimistic worldview. God knows I love a downer conversation. But when you say it so forcefully, it's a pretty big turnoff. Well, sometimes the truth needs to be spoken with effort. Oh, what evil bureaucrat said that, huh? Judge Doom? inside Milo can't be too easy. I've seen that guy's sexual hang-ups. People rightly feel shame after sex, for sex brings new shame into the world. Yeah, but only if you forget to wrap it up. So, first date questions. Um, <clears throat> well, what's your, like, sign, anyway? Um, year of the dog? Is that, is that what you would want? Honestly, <laughs> don't tell anyone this. It only affects your time of the month. 